Welcome to HWMS to Martin, and we are proud to offer to the market this DBS Superleggera 770 Ultimate. Following on from the succession of cars that have come to Aston over the years, things like the Vanquish S Ultimate, the DBS Ultimate, and then the Vanquish S Ultimate, which we had in 2018. This was the final iteration for the DBS Superleggera. I just wanted to run you through some of the technical specs of this car, but also some of the features and changes that you would get with the DBS Ultimate, but also this particular specification of this car, and it does have a great specification. So this car was registered in October 2023 and done just under 900 miles from new. And as you can see, comes in coupe format. There were 300 coupes built for the Globe. Um, a fair percentage of those would have arrived in the UK. And then they also then did 199 Volantes to follow on. This particular car is finished in apex grey. And as you can see, it does look like quite a cool, stealthy sort of colour. But actually, when you get it in the sunlight, it is a really, really flecky colour. A few things that a lot of people probably don't know about Ultimate, um, but I'll run you through them. And as you can probably see here, is this bespoke carbon fibre bonnet, which, as you can probably tell, gives it a really aggressive look. Just want to move you around to the front of the vehicle. So we still have that DBS front end. So we have the headlamps here in the front of the vehicle. And we also have the big uh, front grille in the front there, which directed the air into the engine bay. But we have a more pronounced chin spoiler and also corner in spoilers on the side of the bumper here. This particular car has a club white graphics pack. So it had the graphics pack three, which was not just the edges of this bit of carbon, but also the center section over on there. And we'll show you the rest of the graphics pack as we move around the back of the vehicle. We have black badges. We also have black tinted carbon fiber. So as you can probably see, maybe on the video here, this carbon fiber, it doesn't really sort of pop out a great deal, but it's really sort of dark and aggressive sort of color. But we have that all over the vehicle. So every bit of carbon that's on the outside of the car is a black tinted carbon. And that was quite a large option on this car, as well as the graphics pack. So a few things that are worth noting about DBS 770 Ultimate is the power. 770 PS and 900 Newton meters of torque that will propel you from 0 to 60 in 3.4 seconds in a coupe or 3.6 seconds in the Volante. Something that was new for DBS Ultimate 770 was the torque shapes that they had in each gear. So where DBS Superleggero is a real brute in a suit, and not to say that this isn't, but actually delivering that power to the ground in a more engineered way. So they torque mapped each gear for the acceleration. Moving you down the side of the car, so this particular car, I mean, so DBS 70, 770 had all the carbon fibre, so we've got carbon fibre louvers on the side here, mirror caps, roof, roof arches, and we also have the factory privacy glass on the back. So a real contrast in spec on this car. And a bit of a nod to the Victor and also the Valkyrie, we have these honeycomb satin finish and diamond turned wheels with the yellow brake calipers behind. And we'll follow that theme on through into the interior. A notable feature is this extra bit of aerodynamic carbon fiber on the side here. And as you can see here, this also has the club white graphics pack on it as well. Moving around to the back of the vehicle. As we can see, we've got the smoked rear lights, the black badging across the back here. We've got the carbon rear spoiler again is in a black tinted carbon along with the graphics pack on the top of there. And then down on the lower portion of the car here. So a few other features that popped up on DBS Ultimate. We had some extra design and aerodynamics on the side here with some, to pull the back of the car down a little bit more. And that has the white graphics pack on the back as well as the older twin style rear diffuser. This particular car has had full PPF from new, and should you want more details of it, do give us a ring here at the showroom. It will be available to view in the showroom. But what we'll do is we'll give you a bit of a spin round and then we'll take you through some of the interior detailing. So moving you on to the interior of this car, and I mean, what an interior we got on this vehicle. So this particular car had the carbon fiber seats, as you can see, but with the 
upper environment on this particular vehicle done in the Onyx Black Alcantara and then the lower environment done in the Argento Metallic. Gives a really, really good theme. And then with the third color of the yellow, as you can see here on the stripe in the center here, which is also on your one-off buckled armrest, we also have the stitching on the seats and your backrest logo. This particular car didn't miss an option on the interior. We have the dark jewelry package with the carbon fiber paddles and also the carbon fiber vents. We also had the carbon fiber on the center dash here and also on the doors. Bang & Olsen stereo system with a grey blend Alcantara roof lining. This car also has the heavyweight carpet inside the car. And then you then, as I say, we have these carbon fibre seats. Now, unlike the old Aston carbon fibre seats, these particular seats are um, adjustable, so you can have height adjustment, forwards and backwards via the Aston Martin tag in the front here, and you can also rake adjust as well. And slightly unusual, they are also heated. But if you want further details on this car, do give us a call here at the showroom or visit our website, which is hwmastonmartin.co.uk.